Hi everybody, Greg, Jenna, breaking into your day because the church calendar is breaking into your boring old regular calendar with a major feast. Today is the feast of the Transfiguration and we dressed appropriately for the feast of the Transfiguration. Although now I'm feeling a little sheepish because we had the same style glasses and it makes me feel awkward, but not to worry, I have a backup. <laughs> so anyway, um, we are going to read just a little excerpt from Luke's story of the Transfiguration and then we'll talk about it. Jesus took with him Peter and John and James and went up on the mountain to pray. And while he was praying, the appearance of his face changed and his clothes became dazzling white. Then from the cloud came a voice that said, This is my son, my chosen. Listen to him. When the voice had spoken, Jesus was found alone. And they kept silent and in those days told no one any of the things they had seen. All right. Well, um, I'll start today. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, I was thinking about this this morning, how um, often we use, and it's very appropriate to use, but use this as a story to talk about mountaintop experiences, right? So these, these sort of great transcendent moments at Camp Michael for some of us folks, but, um, but others, and that how you can't always have a mountaintop experience, right? You've got to go back down and do the stuff you're, sure. you're given to do. And there's a lot of truth in it, but what I was thinking was that that might be missing the point to some degree. Um, and I started thinking about how often, not do we have a sort of generic mountaintop experience, but how often do you really have an experience of, of the transcendent risen Christ? You know, maybe not, not maybe in the literal way like this story right. tells it, but that, that just powerful sense of Christ's transcendent presence uh, in this moment. You know, and that doesn't happen very often. Mm -hmm. I mean, it doesn't happen very often for me. Um, and it doesn't happen on demand. It doesn't happen, you know, just on high, you know, like on Easter Day or whatever. It happens in all kinds of strange and, and unexpected moments. And, uh, but when it does, I think it sustains us for those longer periods. So um, that's just what I'm thinking about today. Yeah, and, and when you think about it that way, um, you know, yes, Jesus reveals himself or is revealed in this kind of transcendent moment on the mountain. And yet the same Christ who's been with them all along and who will be with them and who will be on the cross and who will be risen. And so, um, for me, it's like the mountaintop is more about the recognition right. of what's of what's always there. And so, how do maybe the question is how do you sort of keep your mountaintop glasses, um, so to speak? I know that was bad. As soon as I came out, I did not intend that. Um, but like, how do you how do you keep your mountaintop glasses on when um, when that same that same Jesus is present to you all along, just as he was to yeah. to his friends? So. You know, and then uh, one other piece that uh, it says, you know, at the end, they kept silent. They didn't tell anybody about it. And, of course, we're, we're commanded to go and tell the good news of Jesus. But I do think there's something about when you, when you for me, when I have those moments, if I talk about it mm -hmm. too soon or too much, it, it dissipates. Mm -hmm. You know, and sometimes there is a place to just, you know, or it like sounds Mary, like even. awkward or cliche or whatever coming out of your mouth. Right, right, right. Yeah. Sometimes the most, I think the right thing to do is just to hold it uh, for at least a long time until it's, until it's the right time to tell that, uh, tell that experience. Anyway, well, um, why don't we, why don't we yeah, pray? Yeah, let's pray. O oh God, who on the holy mount didst reveal to chosen witnesses thy well-beloved son, wonderfully transfigured, in raiment white and glistening. Mercifully grant that we, being delivered from the disquietude of this world, may by faith behold the King in his beauty, who with thee, O Father, and thee, O Holy Ghost, liveth and reigneth, one God, world without end. Amen. Well, one more little pro tip, so uh, all our joking about sunglasses aside, if you ever have those moments, like, don't hide your eyes, right? <laughs> stare, stare hard and straight into it because you don't get them, you don't get them off the yeah. uh, All right, have a great feast of the Transfiguration, everybody. Have a great day. See you soon. The one time that you said something like serious, and I was like ready to laugh. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Just keep me on my toes.
just so rare that I would say something I, serious. I like 